Come with me as I embark on a journey of a lifetime through the heart of the Middle East. I have hired a car and intend to travel the incredible country of Jordan. From the ancient city of Jerash to the Dead Sea, I go canyoning, I visit a world wonder, stay at a Bedouin camp and so much more. The first stop on my road trip itinerary was Amman, the capital of Jordan. I then explored the ancient city of Jerash before driving south to the incredible Dead Sea. Next, I adventured through the deep ravines of Wadi Mujib and explored the world wonder of Petra. You can view each of these vlogs already published on my channel. But today, I am touring the red desert sands of Wadi Rum. Welcome to my Bedouin tent. So I'm staying at the arena camp. It's pretty basic, but it does have aircon which is a must because it's really hot but it generator doesn't kick in until four o'clock anyway i also have a bathroom private bathroom all to myself with only cold water but well it's budget this place is very very cheap and what's great about this room is this beautiful view over the rest of the camp Arena Camp also offers Jeep Safari tours that take you through some of the most scenic landscapes and viewpoints in Wadi Rum. My first stop was at the Alamela inscriptions, which date back to over 2,000 years. They depict stick figures of children and camels and are of great archaeological importance because they trace back to the early development of the alphabet. This wall is all that remains of Lawrence's house. Legend has it that T.E. Lawrence stayed here a couple of times during the Arab Revolt. Lawrence was an English soldier who fought alongside the Arab guerrilla forces during World War I. If you want to learn more about Lawrence, I recommend you watch Lawrence of Arabia. It's a movie that was made in 1962, but it has still stood the test of time. I really love it and you should check it out if you want to know more. Lawrence, only two kinds of creature get fun of the desert, Bedouins and gods, and you're neither. Take it from me. For ordinary men, it's a burning, fiery furnace. No, Dryden. It's going to be fun. You can see why so many movies have been filmed here in Wadi Rum, like Star Wars, The Martian, the new Dune movies, because it looks like an alien planet with these large sandstone and granite rocks just jutting out of this like rusty red sand. It's beautifully bizarre. Our next stop was another beautiful lookout and then the infamous Mushroom Rock. Before heading to Lawrence's Canyon where inscriptions of Lawrence of Arabia and Prince Faisal can be found. The rock formations are so unique. Some of them look like they have candle wax dripping down them. Kind of like they're a scoop of ice cream and the sun is melting them. And then others are just sheer rock faces. And then others are absolutely huge and they look like they've been scribbled with this tiny like ancient script or hieroglyphics or something. It's so diverse, it's so interesting. I've been driving through Wadi Rum now for like, I don't know, three or four hours and I'm not bored. You're in the desert, 
So you think, you know, sand, rock, sand, rock, sand, rock, but that's not the case. It's really, really interesting. I don't feel like I'm on earth though. I don't feel like I'm on earth at all. <laughs> Jordan has captured my heart. The diversity of its landscapes, rich history, hospitality of its people and vibrant culture has made this the best road trip of my life. I hope my unforgettable experience in Jordan has inspired you to seek out the adventures of this incredible country for yourself because it really is a bucket list destination. Please leave a comment if you would like to know more about my travels through Jordan. I reply to each and every one of you. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on where I'm off to next.